Uh, long awaited for me at least. Uh, Lando was confirmed as a limited series, which obviously it's going to focus on Lando. The teaser image showed the Falcon back, which the Falcon that Solo ended the uh, movie with, which to me, this just says we're bringing back Solo, but we're not calling it Solo. It's going to be those two teaming up with the Falcon to some sort of mini mission. You know, like I'm super so, hyped for this one. Like this so, is so, it. <laughs> so basically this is as close as you're going to get to Solo 2. Yup. And I will take it. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. You, you might get some other series for all we know mm-hmm. about Solo 2 and, no, just or set of two characters, and they'll just play it off that way. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm. Super... But do they bring Billy D. Williams back? I wouldn't mind it. Like, if maybe there's some flashing around to different solo, like, mm. you know, like solo standalone adventures of each Lando. Man, it's gonna get a little confusing. Because mm. what what you, they could do? Because obviously, Rise of Skywalker set him up. Yep. It's like, hey, why didn't we go find out who's your parents? It's like, well, it's clearly you. Yeah. Let's be honest. But, um, so, yeah, you could kind of, like, have that as the structuring device. And he's, like, telling a story to young yes. Donald Glover Lando. And yep. Sort of, or about young Donald Glover Lando. Maybe, like, it picks... That's up. how I play it up. I, honestly, I would play it the same way. It's him and, like, who we know is going to end up being his daughter... And they have kind of an adventure, and then he's like, let me tell you about some of my adventures I've had, because you got to get to know me, and, you know, I'm your father. So then they tell that tale, and here's the takeaway, because something they announce later, which we'll talk about in just a little bit, in regards to a certain Sith appearing to fight somebody else that (laughs) sort of people are like, that might break canon. You can 100% now fit Darth Maul into Lando, and have Solo involved and still get away with it being like, yep, this works. So I have a feeling we'll probably will see those threads that were left over with the crime syndicates and all that. And Kiara pay off in this. And yeah, I, yeah. hell yeah. That sounds great to me. Like, it's... I say I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm on board for it. I'm mm-hmm. all on board. Dude, I mean, I'm, so... I'm on board for everything here, really. Mate, the, the droids thing, I'm a bit like, eh. yeah. Yeah. I know it's a reboot and it's like the little kitty thing, but it's, it's fine. <laughs> I'll still probably watch it. Oh, it. God, yeah. It did also confirm that the Rogue One prequel, which was one of the worst titles, like Rogue One Endor, it's just called Star Wars Endor. It's going to obviously be a 12-episode series prequel that leads up into Rogue One. And they showed off a little sizzle reel. They are sh- shooting the series now. They showed off some concept art and like motion and everything. And I, I would say this did more to excite me than the initial announcement because it's like, oh, I finally get the sense of what you guys are doing here, like exploring this shady side of the rebellion and everything. So I'm I was really excited to see like the sizzle reel and have the official announcement of it and see that they literally showed off like, no, this is like a movie production, but 12 hours of it worth of content. And mm-hmm. it looked it's solid. just nice to know that it's happening. Yeah, yeah, honestly, yeah, because we've been. That's one of the first things they announced. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was the first thing they announced. <laughs> yeah, like, actually, yeah, Cassie and Andor. Like, yeah, it's just like, oh, okay. Now, where's that been for the last two years? Just... Oh, you've only just started. Cool. Mm-hmm. cool, cool, cool. And this kind of ties in, like you had Andor, so this ties in with the whole visions thing because back to back they announced Andor, which we're excited about. But Visions is going to be a bunch of animated anime shorts that are all fitting mm-hmm. into the Star Wars universe done by what they said is some of the top artists and people working in the anime industry. And I'm like, I'm like this sounds freaking incredible. Like this, this sounds good. A hundred, a hundred percent. This was one of like, the, the highest on my list from these yeah. announcements. And depending on who they get, you can get some really nice uh, action sequences. Mm-hmm. Like this, this is let's be real. Trying to get a foothold in Asia. Oh yes, <laughs> yeah, did, did it work for Spider Man with the, the Sentai stuff? They're gonna do it for Star Wars. Uh, I, mean, I mean, they technically they still do because a lot of a lot of Asia loves Star Wars. Uh, Not the mainland China, which is the one they're trying to break into. They hate Star J- Wars. Japan, Japan, Japan loves China. Not- does nope. not get Star Wars. 
that from what I've seen, a lot of artists love Star Wars. I mean, I, might, but as a whole, no. At, no. The, the country because, they, they, like, is, is, it's because the, I was, I'm just saying because like I've been because like from over the years of like watching and stuff, uh, I've seen a lot of artists draw a lot of Star Wars uh, references to even out, outright drawing some of the original trilogy art pieces to having references to them in some see, of the shows. That's the thing I've noticed, and I have a friend who lives in uh, he used to live in China, lives in Japan now, um, and he loved Star Wars, but he said the mass populace awareness does not care. But a lot no. of the top artists there love it, and a lot of their like retro futuristic art and like cyberpunk that they draw is influenced by Star Wars. So they have an appreciation, but the crowds don't, which is a weird. I'd say it's, it's like you a direct comparison. You come over here and look at say someone like Tom Brevoort from Marvel loves like spaceship Yamamoto, spaceship Yamamoto, yep. or whatever it's called. Do you think the mass gives a crap about that? No. Yeah, it's no. <laughs> Like you go out in the street and ask someone what that is, and they're gonna look at you with like the blankest stare. Well, here, okay. So I want to bring our next. Next up, one of the biggest confirmations from this entire thing, Obi Wan. Cool. We know what's happening. It's officially starting production soon in the spring, and then they're like, "Well, Hayden Christensen is back as Darth Vader, and the two are gonna have an epic duel." Oh. Okay. Um, will it be around sand? Please let it be sand. <laughs> yes. Dude. I mean that 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 would be the next high ground. It's just the sand. Oh. Uh... Face it, Anakin. I have the sand ground. <laughs> I mean, dude, this is really sounding amazing. And from the footage description, from what they showed the investors, he's definitely yeah. getting off of Tatooine, and they are going all out with this series. Like, it sounds like this has an epic scope of space travel multiple planets um the darth vader battle like him hunting jedi still like there's there's a lot happening here so yeah because the, the, the let's be honest the main point everyone wants to know is when is this thing set mm -hmm. and like, it can't be within like four years of a new hope because it, that's we, we know all that stuff what i understand it's 10 years after Episode three, which means ten years before A New Hope, so it's enough so it's time. Right in the middle. Yeah, so it's before Rebels finale, which people will know how that goes and where Obi Wan is left off towards the end of that series. So it's before that he's retreated to Tatooine and he's been there for at least five to six years. So they got a little bit of time to tell this story here, and my interest is if. Obi-Wan is leaving the planets, and it looks like he's maybe looking for other survivors. I highly suspect we're getting a Cal Kestis from Fallen Order. Like, that's going to tie yeah, in there. Like, yeah, yeah. The actor is Old a perfect age. Jedi. Right? Yeah. Like, it makes sense, and I won't be shocked if we see Darth Vader just mutilate him. <laughs> like, to set the stakes of this series, being like, yeah, he killed Cal. That's the <laughs> R.I.P. Jedi Fallen Order 2. <laughs> Right. Yeah, I was like, hopefully, it's, hopefully, it just takes right after the first one, because because <laughs> this is the thing. Like, this could be that the one thing where the Star Wars story group has been a bit loose with itself. Mm -hmm. uh, they've been so tightly wound. We're like, no, we can't do this, and that's like, yeah, hey, we're just gonna just gonna untighten it a little bit and get Hayden back. Which getting Hayden back on its own is like, damn, that is. That's huge in and of itself. And the fact he's going to play Darth Vader as well, like he's going to be in the suit, it's like, oh, okay. And yeah. so, Which kind of gives the impression of it's got to be the younger Vader. Mm -hmm. It's right. got to be closer to the prequels and the originals. but Yeah. And, I, mean, I guess we'll see how it goes. I mean, does this also mean we're going to see like Grant Moff Tarkin back again? Like, are they going to do the CG thing again? Because you're going to have to assume oh, we see Palpatine yes. at some point, probably. Like, hey, I mean, there's ways around all that. Yeah. I think it depends on their hands. Like, you could do what, like, Rogue One did, and you just, Vader just is kind of there. Like, make him that force again. Dude, make, oh, make Obi-Wan go to Mustafar and see him in the castle. Oh, yes. <laughs> please. Please. Mm. Rematch, ultimate Needed. rematch. Damn, that'd be that'd be. Something. You know what? I I'm convinced now they're gonna do that because you know they they want that nostalgia factor. 
where else you can have a rematch uh, other than Mustafa? Truth. That it's is like poetry. It rhymes. <laughs> it's going to be the most masturbatory finale of all time. <laughs> Can't wait. Yeah. Cannot wait. It's my oh. word of 2020. <laughs> So that's it. We're wrapping up Star Wars, and now we're just going to watch.